You know, since the pandemic, bus riders have gotten a ride free of charge, but now the KCATA is considering a plan that would bring back those bus fares. Uh, KSHB 41 reporter Gian Kim shares details of a fare collection study and the voices and for and against the possible change. Back in July, KCATA Board of Commissioners authorized its CEO to conduct a study. They wanted a recommendation regarding the possibility of bringing back bus fares. At the time, a zero fare task force was also created to spearhead that initiative. It was a full house Wednesday afternoon at the KCATA Board of Commissioners meeting. A presentation was on the agenda following a bus fare collection study done by a consulting firm, but nothing kicked off before a public hearing. This bus has become the shelter for the homeless people. Our city will be way less safe if people lose their access to jobs, their medication, their education. The findings of the study included pros and cons of the current zero fare system and also what it would mean to bring the fares back. The study looked at peer agencies across the nation too and what we can take away from their operations. Many of the systems that are offering free fares. Like many issues, the audience was divided. Those against bus fares talked about the critical role public transportation plays in people's well-being. If you vote yes, you'll be making the active choice to listen to out-of-state consultants and pass deadly policy that will harm the community, make children go hungry, and force people to lose access to health care and more. Those for the bus fares, including current drivers, talked about drop in quality and safety once free fares began. We actually lost more ridership due to the free fare because they started feeling us safe. The bus fare has to come back to return the service back. There, we can't retain employees here anymore. Ultimately, it was recommended that the board authorize a plan to bring back the fares, but in a way that includes public outreach, further study, and potential discount programs for those who do need it. The commissioners voted to conduct more studies on this before making a decision. Jian Kim, KISS HB 41 News.